I would say this is more about art and experiencing this through the artist's eye. There might be a scare or two around the corner, but it's mostly just for the art and having fun. So the reason why we picked COVID is because it's been a big struggle and it has been a big impact on the community and the world as a whole. It has all these emotions you go through. They have a coughing noise. <coughs> Walking into the hell of COVID, you're experiencing visually the horror, the nightmare of coping with the COVID. It's fun and playful, but also really serious. I couldn't even tell you exactly where it started. I think there's definitely an artistic aspect of it, but there are some truly horrifying things that you, that you experience through this haunted house. <coughs> Such a wonderful cross between being an art show and a haunted house. It's just really fun to have an event that you can go to in person. 2020 has been a very reflective year. A little bit of a surreal, immersive experience. There's a few moments for surprise, definitely. Uh, you're walking around in, in the dark. It is very dark in here, but I do like that they are promoting local artists. So this has been put on by One Reel through Art Saves Me, which is a program that is to help local artists seek out their vision. We don't have many opportunities to kind of get out in a safe way. And, and you know, I think this is a great opportunity to be able to do that. So go ahead, take the risk and visit this horror house. <laughs> Well, thanks, Jose. If you would like to visit the COVID House of Horrors, it runs every 15 minutes and a maximum of four people at a time. If you would like more info, head to king5evening.com.